What's up guys, welcome back. Happy holidays, happy new year. We are starting this new year off with 5,000 subscribers on the channel, which is awesome. So I just wanted to give a huge thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed to the channel and have been following along on the journey thus far. Quick update on the Fox. We've gotten a couple more things done. We got the new throttle cable installed. And that came out really nice. We got the vacuum line for the blow-off valve rerouted. If you remember, the blow-off valve used to be down here. And uh, yeah, we pulled it back into the car, got it rerouted through the center of the lower intake manifold there, and then got it plumbed up. It looks really clean as well. Stoked on that. We got some T-bolt clamps on our charge pipe coupler. We got both our IAC and our TPS sensors installed. We still have to get them wired up, but the sensors are in. We're making progress, but we still have a lot on our plate also i don't know if i ever showed you guys this we have a brand new water neck so before you know how factory 302 water necks kind of 90 up we had to do away with that and we got one that just kind of comes straight out so that way we can make room for the new charge pipe setup so yeah we got that done that was done in the last video i just forgot to mention it we have been making progress slowly but surely and the plan for today is to begin to plumb the new water to air intercooler so if you guys are not familiar or haven't been watching the videos recently, we have a water to air intercooler now, which is awesome, but we have to get it plumbed up. The tank is in the hatch. So today I would like to at least get the intercooler to the firewall portion plumbed because I'm going to plumb it to the firewall and then from the inside of the car, we'll plumb it to the back side of the firewall, but we'll do that at a later date. Today, the goal is just to get the lines made up from the intercooler to the firewall and get all of that sorted. Over here, I got a box full of fittings and some AN line. This should be everything we need to get the first half of this intercooler setup plumbed up. First thing we need to do is get this firewall pass-through installed. Once we get that installed, which I'm thinking somewhere along this area right here, that's the only place that really makes sense. On this side, we got the fuel pressure regulator. If we go too far to the left, we have the exhaust pipe. So that seems like the most reasonable place to put it. So once we get that installed where it's gonna go, then we can start making up the lines. And once we get the lines made up and installed, the front portion of this intercooler setup will be plumbed. After that, we won't really have to do anything but run the lines from the tank and the hatch up to the other connection, the other side of the connection on the other side of the firewall, inside of the car. But like I said earlier, that'll be for a later date today. I just wanna get the front half knocked out. So. Yeah, let's go get that pass through, start to get it mocked up, and get after it. The firewall pass through came with this little stencil that I got mocked up here and taped to the firewall. It looks a little off to me, but it is level. I leveled it with two different levels just to be sure. It's just because that arch on the firewall is, you know, clearly not level. So it just looks a little off, but it is level. So the plate will be level. And I think that's pretty much where we're gonna go with it. I got some fittings on the intercooler right now, uh, just for mock-up purposes to kind of get an idea of how I need to route the lines because we are dealing with a limited amount of space here. So what I'm thinking is this line here is gonna be the feed. So we just need, there's four ports on the intercooler and we really only need two. We need a feed and a return. So we need to feed water into the intercooler and then return water back to the tank. So the feed is gonna be up here on the front passenger side the return is going to be on the rear driver's side. So, you know, in theory, the water comes in, it'll fill up the entire surface area of the intercooler and then exit on the back opposite side of where it's coming in from. I don't know, it makes sense to me, so that's how we're gonna run it. So the feed line is gonna come straight from this closest port or outlet, if you see right here. So it'll just go straight into that. And then the return is gonna have to do something funky again because we're limited on space. So I have a U-turn or a 180 fitting right there and it's just gonna go down and kinda, it's gonna go down and then loop out from here like that. So it'll go underneath the feed line, kinda like an S almost, if that makes sense. That was the best design I can come up with to plumb the lines. I tried a couple different ways to route the lines, but 
this is what I think is the cleanest and the best solution. So yeah, we're not gonna think about it too much more. We're just gonna go ahead and send it and start getting things knocked out. Also, another thing I didn't account for is that this 180 fitting is sitting up so high that we're going to have to cut out another portion of this bracing area on the hood in order for the hood to close properly, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. We'll deal with it when we get there. I really hope I got my measurements right because we now have some pretty big holes in our firewall. Moment of truth. Let's see if this thing fits. Hell yeah. Looks good. Let's get some hardware and get this thing installed. Check it out. All the hardware has been fastened. I also went ahead and put the two AN fittings on the front as well as in the rear. And I think it came out pretty sweet. It looks really good there. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So now all we have to do is plug the two ports on the intercooler that we're not gonna be using, which is the rear one here on the passenger side and the front one on the driver's side, and then make up the two lines that are going to connect the intercooler to that plate on the firewall, and we'll be pretty much done. And I don't know if you guys can see that because of the lighting, but the Allen key size for these plugs is enormous and I didn't have an Allen key that size. So what I did was I found a bolt where the head of the bolt is the size that we need. And then I just put two nuts on the end to lock them together. So we're gonna use that to tighten these plugs in. You know, sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. Now that we got both the plugs in the intercooler, we can start making up some lines. And I'm stoked because I haven't made AN lines in a while and I quite like it to be honest. Use a little bit of oil on the part of the fitting that goes inside the hose. I don't know if that's recommended or not, but I do it. it helps out a lot. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just want to move it up a little bit. Got the 90 on there. I didn't film it because it started to battle me a little bit, but we got it on there. Took some measurements, got the AN line taped off right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see it. So right in the center of that is where we're going to cut it. Then we'll install our other fitting and the first line will be made up. Got that on. Looks good. All right, got that one started a lot easier than the last one. There we go. All right guys, I got ahead of myself. I didn't film me making up the rest of the lines, but once you've seen me make one AN line, you've seen me make all of them. It's the same thing. You just repeat the process over and over again. So check it out. That's the feed line. Return line goes down like that and then loops around to this backside. Everything looks good. We got the plugs in. I mean, I'm stoked with the way that turned out. It looks sick. Miss Parker is looking super, super rowdy. And it's unfortunate because all I want to do is start to drive this car again. But there is still a bunch of little things that we need to do before this car 
we'll be up and running but we are knocking things out little by little so item off the to-do list that we just got knocked out and I couldn't be more stoked on how it turned out I think it looks really really cool like what Miss Parker is looking pretty serious I'm not even gonna lie to you guys don't want to forget this but yeah that's pretty much it that's what I wanted to get accomplished that's what we got accomplished as far as the rest of it you see right there I just got those fittings taped off once I buy some more AN line and fittings because I did not buy enough line and fittings to plumb the entire system I just bought enough lines and fittings to plumb this front half so I have to buy some more lines buy some more fittings I still have to get a pump for the system as well and then uh, we'll run the lines from the tank up here I'll cut a hole somewhere along the lines of right there we'll run the lines up connect them to the back of that firewall plate and we'll be fully plumbed but for now that's all we're gonna be able to get done but I'm stoked this thing is looking absolutely insane like insane for real it's been a while I know I haven't filmed a video in a long long time I am gonna end it there I've been out here for a pretty good amount of time now getting all of this dialed in but hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one be easy